Hello, today I'm building my own soap dish made of concrete. My name is Julian and 1989 Go is my YouTube channel and I like to build things. So let's go. I wanted to have my soap dish in the simple square look. So I measured the dimensions of the packaging and marked it on my piece of wood. Oh, and today I'm only using hand tools and no electricity at all is needed to make this soap dish. And I'm also using just leftover wood. So I was just combining the things laying around at home. Now I've got my squared base of the mold and just need four more pieces for the sides. If you want to have a list of all tools and supplies I'm using here, please watch the video description down below. Now I'm done with our cuttings. And maybe you've already seen I don't use a border to hold the soap. And this is because of my next step. Some days ago I bought this chisel. And I want the wood grain to be raised. So I'm holding the chisel at an angle and remove wood from where it's colored brighter. I thought it's kind of looking better than having uh, water all around my soap dish. And the deeper parts will also be a drainage so the soap can dry normally and it's all good. And the wood grain will also save it from sliding down. I worked the first time with a chisel and I have to say it's really great because it's so sharp and it's, it's nice, nice to work with. I'm finished with my chisel now and this is how it looks like. I removed the spreading wood fibers with some sanding paper. Now a last check and then I'm using adhesive tape to hold it all together. And I just want to take a second and thank all viewers and so many people who subscribed lately to my channel. And I'm still trying to figure out how to make great videos. So I'm very happy about your comments and thanks again. Now it's finally time to mix the concrete. But before I'm doing that I'm using some household oil and paint it on the wood so the concrete won't stick that much. For today's project I'm using a fast setting concrete mix that I bought from a local hardware store. And as always when working with concrete I shake it very well to get most of the air bubbles out of there. Great, all done and I can wait for the concrete to cure. While my soap dish was curing, I covered it with some plastic and also put it in a shady place. The sides of my mold were very easy to remove, but the base was a little bit harder and I took this little hammer to remove it. And I think it came out quite good. But there's still some more work to be done. Because I don't want my sink to have scratches someday, I just make some little feet and then glue them to the bottom of my soap dish. I then remove the excess glue and finally seal it with some mud lacquer. After some more time to let it cure, I just needed to place it in the bathroom and put some very nice smelling soap on it. I hope you like it as much as I do and I hope to see you soon. Bye!